Welcome guys! The new famous assault rifle that's been added to PUBG Mobile can be found exclusively on Livig, so in this video we're going to test its performance in order to know how to properly use it. But first, make sure you leave a like so the algorithm grants you pro PUBG Mobile skills. Now, let's begin. After using it for a few games, I've noticed that the FAMAS Assault Rifle is not made for medium-range combat as other 5.56 weapons are superior in this regard. However, it seems to have a great advantage at close range, which makes it quite an interesting weapon. The FAMAS is last, so when it comes to damage from single shots to the chest, it's the worst. However, if we look at this table in a more practical way and consider the number of shots you need to eliminate an opponent, the FAMAS would theoretically have the same performance as the M416. Now, let's look at head damage. Again, the FAMAS is the worst in terms of damage. We can notice that unlike the damage to the vest, it remains low compared to the M416 even at level 2 and 3. But if we look at the table again in terms of how many shots we need for one kill, we can see that it's indistinguishable from the rest of assault rifles, except when your opponent does not have a helmet. So, does this mean that the FAMAS performs the same as all other assault rifles? Not exactly, because in a real confrontation it's highly unlikely that 100% of your shots hit either the head or the chest. Many times you'll shoot an opponent in the arms or legs, causing a minimal amount of damage that could affect the number of shots required to other locations on the body. So, is the FAMAS simply worse than other assault rifles? To answer this question, we have to analyze other characteristics of this weapon in order to determine if it's worth using. I mentioned at the beginning of this video that the FAMAS seems to have an advantage at close range, so if its low damage doesn't cause this apparent advantage, it might be the rate of fire. The first thing we can see is that the FAMAS shoots just as fast as the Groza, which is incredibly impressive. Now, we can get the shots per second, which is the number of shots that each weapon generates in a single second. We now multiply that value by the base damage of each weapon and find the damage per second. This value is the damage that's generated for every second your weapon fires. Finally, we calculate the time to kill, which is measured from the first bullet impact using the formula that you can see below. We now have a weapon chart that we can compare to define which weapon causes the most damage because these numbers are a more accurate representation of overall performance. The FAMAS now appears to be a more powerful weapon than previously shown, however, the time to kill and damage per second are incomplete because we have only relied on base damage, which is generated from a shot to the chest without a vest. We want to compare all types of armor to get a general idea of the theoretical performance of each rifle, so now I'm going to show you all the damage per second values to see which weapon is more powerful. This is the theoretical damage that each weapon generates in one second. These values are more important than the damage of an individual bullet because they take into account the rate of fire. It is now that we can see that the FAMAS shines. It consistently deals more damage per second than the M416 regardless of each individual bullet being less powerful, which accounts for its considerable advantage in close range combat. This feature has never been seen on a 5.56 assault rifle, which puts it at the same level of performance of 7.62 assault rifles, even outperforming the AKM by 11% in level 2 and 3 vests. This advantage can also be demonstrated in the time to kill. This is the time in milliseconds it takes for a weapon to eliminate an opponent depending on the vest he's wearing. 
The FAMAS has a dramatically faster kill time than the M416 and is likely faster than the AKM, approaching the performance of the M762. It is consistent in its results, and it does more damage than the AKM as previously mentioned. If you hit your shots, you will eliminate an opponent so quickly that they will not have realized what happened until it's too late. These incredible advantages of the FAMAS may convince us that it's a weapon that will replace the scar -L and M416 in Livig, but unfortunately, this is not the case. What exactly causes this disadvantage? Generally, the biggest drawbacks at medium range that 7.62 assault rifles have are bullet speed and recoil, so let's test these attributes. The bullet speed of the FAMAS is exactly the same as the Scar L and M416, so this cannot be the reason for its deficient long range performance, as a high bullet velocity is always advantageous. So instead, the problem might be the recoil. Let's compare it with the Scar L and M416 without attachments. The vertical recoil of the FAMAS goes higher than that of the M416 and even higher compared to the Scar L, but this is not such a big problem because you can simply compensate it by pulling down since vertical recoil only goes up. The problem with this assault rifle comes with its high range and horizontal recoil. It deviates so much from the center which makes it incredibly unpredictable compared to vertical recoil because now you have two directions to compensate, left and right. You'll never be able to predict which of the two directions it'll go to. This is completely random. This is an extremely difficult weapon to control, so you'll have a lot of difficulty with engagements over 30 meters away. In addition, its high rate of fire contributes to making it more difficult to control as it moves your aim faster. Full auto control is very difficult, but maybe it's possible to control it in single fire. To see this, we will have to do a few tests with the forex scope at 50 meters away. The variables that affect the performance of a weapon in single fire mode are the original shooting point, the maximum reticle position, and the reticle resting position. In addition, I'll measure the average recovery time from the moment you shoot to the moment of rest to know how fast you can shoot without losing precision on your focus. Let's get started. Here you can see that the maximum range of the FAMAS reticle is slightly higher in comparison, as well as being more inconsistent as it's divided in two, which makes it difficult to predict. However, the reticle's resting point is closer to the original point of focus. This means that once the shooting animation ends, you'll be aiming closer to your original shooting point. The low recovery time of the M416 and Scar L allows them to take long range fights in single fire with ease. The FAMAS on the other hand has a much higher recovery time which makes shooting fast in single fire too difficult to be viable. Likewise, the camera does not move with the scope while firing so you'll feel that the maximum position of the reticle goes much higher because you are not used to the scope moving this way. But if you value accuracy and have good recoil control, this is the optimal rate of fire in single fire mode for this weapon. How does changing posture affect recoil? The FAMAS has a bipod that should considerably improve the recoil of the weapon when you lie down. Let's compare the three available postures to test their benefit. If you crouch, the vertical recoil will be decreased by 20%, but if you go prone, the vertical recoil will be decreased by 40%, and the horizontal recoil by about 57%.
here's a single fire comparison. It is noticeable that resting points are more compact when prone, but the difference in recovery time is non-existent, so there is no noticeable benefit for single fire. Here is the optimal firing speed for each position. Even though there's no noticeable difference for tapping, proning improves the spray recoil of the FAMAS immensely, but you should only do it in case you absolutely need to use it at mid-range and have no alternatives, because there are other weapons that can perform better even if you don't lie down when shooting. How do barrel attachments affect recoil? Let's compare the recoil now with the compensator and the flash hider. Here are the results. Surprisingly, the flash hider reduces recoil significantly more than the compensator. I did this test several times to make sure the result is accurate and yes, the flash hider is better. It decreases vertical recoil by 8%, the same amount as the compensator, but the fundamental difference is in the horizontal recoil. The flash hider reduces it by 32%, while the compensator actually worsens it by 2%. You should definitely avoid using the compensator regardless of its benefit on vertical recoil, because I have explained before, vertical recoil can be predicted, and therefore easily compensated for. Horizontal recoil can go to the right or left, which makes it essential to reduce it whenever possible. There's no doubt that you should use the flash hider in the FAMAS assault rifle, but we should not forget that Libicus' small map or sound reduction is incredibly important so as to not attract lots of attention when shooting. To see if the suppressor is worth using above the flash hider, I'm going to measure the sound range a FAMAS shot has with and without a suppressor equipped. The effective range within which a suppressed shot from the FAMAS can be distinguished is 220 meters, but a faint sound can be heard up to a maximum distance of 270 meters. Therefore, we're going to take this value as the basis for our comparison. The unsuppressed shot can be heard clearly throughout its audible range, and at 285 meters it suddenly cuts off as it reaches its limit of distance. Therefore, with a difference of no more than 15 meters, it's obvious that the suppressor is not worth using over the flash hider. However, if you only have a compensator and a suppressor to choose from, the suppressor is much better because it does not affect the recoil of the weapon while the compensator slightly worsens it. Which are the best attachments for the FAMAS assault rifle? For the barrel slot, without a doubt the flash hire due to its reduction in horizontal recoil and decrease in weapon flash visibility. For the sight slot, the red dot is the most convenient but if you want to use a long range scope, I suggest a maximum of 4x to shoot at distances between 20 and 30 meters. 
As for the magazine, the most obvious answer is the extended quick draw mag, but if you only have the extended and quick draw to choose from, you have to decide which of the benefits you prefer. The Famas is an assault rifle with a low base amount of bullets, and thanks to its high rate of fire, the 25 rounds it comes with are used up very quickly. If you want to extend the magazine to 35 rounds, you can do it with an extended mag, but the gun will be reloaded slowly. Here's a comparison for the full reload. Here's a comparison for the partial reload. Personally, I prefer an extended magazine because there are situations where it pays off to have more bullets to fire. Bullet spread test. You may have noticed that several weapons have a smaller hipfire reticle than others. This is because they are more accurate in hipfire shots, which makes them better in close range engagements. We're going to compare the bullet spread of the Famas with various types of weapons to get a good representation of the accuracy of this rifle. This test will be undertaking while moving and leaning to maintain the size of the reticle the same as in the normal movement mode and at the same time reduce the effect of the change in distance. The comparison will include an indication of where the bullets hit as well as a probability cloud which indicates where your shots are most likely to land according to my results. Let's get started. It appears that the Famas has a similar spread to the Scar L and is slightly better than the M416 because it does not have many impact holes far from the probability cloud. The difference is not big, therefore all have the same dispersion rating. The spread of the Famas in this comparison is relatively compact. The barrel M762 has a fairly large spread and its center of probability is slightly offset from the center focus of the reticle. But the Mark 14 rifle has a very imprecise spread. The compact space of the cloud is very small and there are many bullet holes scattered outside the center focus of the reticle. So these are the spread ratings for each. The comparison with the submachine guns shows a normal result. The Famas is capable of close range engagements, but it will never come close to the performance of a submachine gun. These are the dispersion ratings. What's the best weapon combination for a Famas assault rifle? You have two weapon classes to choose from, but you fundamentally need a weapon that covers mid-range effectively. Here you can see the optimal combat distance for the Famas, and you can see that it lacks effectiveness from 30 meters onwards. Livic is a map where you'll hardly find yourself shooting at targets at long range, so it's more important to pair the Famas with a weapon whose priority is medium range combat. Therefore, your options are limited to two classifications, DMRs and conventional assault rifles. The semi-automatic rifle I prefer to pair it with is the Mark 12 as it is very easy to control and deals a decent amount of damage. It's great for indirect combat at medium range, but thanks to its high damage, it's mainly optimal in direct engagements at long range. Although you will have difficulty shooting at moving targets at long range as it has low bullet velocity, but it's a pretty good match for the FAMAS. Although, if you prefer to prioritize indirect combat at medium range, a conventional assault rifle such as the Scar L or M416 is a very good option. You can configure their attachments to shoot automatically with a high caliber scope and you will have no limitations with shooting full auto from a distance. Are there better alternatives to the Famas Assault Rifle? Yes, 
The reality is that if you want to optimize for a close range fight, it's much better to use a barrel M762. In addition to having better horizontal recoil control, you can be more precise with more power thanks to its high damage per second, which is not surpassed by a FAMAS. You also have more customization in terms of attachments, and you can even equip a laser sight to improve its bad bullet spread. The only reason I would choose a FAMAS over a barrel is because of its bullet velocity. If your bullets reach an enemy first and manage to eliminate him, the shots that he fired that are still on their way magically disappear to compensate for the desync that exists due to the delay between devices and the server. This new assault rifle can help you win tons of tough fights in Livig. I suggest you give it a try to see if you like it as you might find a favorite weapon on this map.